So KSI is still pretty salty. <laughs> So today I thought I'd talk about the KSI situation with Dan TDM because it's all I've seen over Twitter for the last two weeks. Now I've been off sick for about a week now and seeing all this stuff coming out actually made me feel worse. Now for those of you that don't know what's actually gone on, I'll just briefly explain the gist of the situation. So KSI, Logan Paul and Mr. Beast decided to release a Lunchables clone called Lunchly. Now this was meant to be a better product, which... Here's some of the stats here of how much better it actually is. It's kind of hilarious. And it's obviously targeted at kids. A lot of people took issue with this. And it wasn't because of who was promoting the product, really. It was mainly because the product looked like shit. Dan TDM was one of these people. Now, if you don't know who Dan TDM is, he's a big Minecraft YouTuber. He's actually one of the OGs on YouTube. Me personally, I don't watch his stuff. Never really been that interested in that sort of community. But respect the grind. Now, he came out of a tweet basically at in these guys saying that they should be doing better with their stuff not promoting garbage to kids and that's all he said you know everybody's entitled to an opinion but ksi and logan paul didn't take this very well but after this tweet ksi and logan paul both back to back tweeted at him basically saying that he was wrong and a hypocrite and all sorts it was just really really cringe i went over this in my last video so if you really want to see more on that you go and watch that last video there's a lot more on it but since then, things have got a lot worse because KSI and Logan Paul both come out with videos against Dan TDM because of how salty they are. That is all. That's all it is. It's not them trying to protect their shitty product. Okay, it's them trying to protect their shitty egos. Tries to beef Dan TDM. If you ever do that again, I'm gonna kill your parents. And I know where they live. No one's slapping me. <laughs> Let's get it twisted. Decides to delete his credibility by picking a fight with an OG YouTuber over a lunchbox. <laughs> he started it! I just released the product. This brother came at me! Am I not allowed to respond? Oh, you fucking twat! What happened to YouTubers, man? I cannot say anything anymore. <laughs> this is selling. Stop for the sake of making money! <laughs> How does this benefit their lives? <laughs> Do better! <laughs> That's exactly how I interpreted it as well. Like, let me put this in the context. Imagine being a mother who's angry that we made this. Crackers, bro? You mad because we made crackers? This is what you're mad about, bro. Like, these videos didn't really need to be made. They just make you look really pathetic. Like, imagine seeing one tweet and getting this vexed about it. You know what I mean? It's like, bro, if you're that upset about it, clearly you know your product sucks, all right? Everybody's saying your product sucks dick, okay? It does. It's shit. Look at it. Look at it. People have eaten it as well, and they say that it's shit. As a food product, this is processed garbage. The pizza is genuinely disgusting. This hockey puck of a tortilla, I mean, I don't know if tortillas normally smell like this, but it genuinely smells like a sock. And then the sauce is literally ketchup with like a little bit more pepper. If anything, these just remind me of snack attacks. I don't know whether you guys have them in America, but over here in the UK, we have snack attacks where it comes with like a, it's like a wrap and a cheese string and some tomato ketchup. That's pretty much all this is. That's all that pizza is, okay? That's all these nachos is. It's fucking shit. You could actually get better value buying like a Tesco meal deal. I feel like they're trying to mask that they're upset by saying that it's a good product. You know what I mean? They're just upset. They know it's a shit product. You've hurt their ego a little bit, okay? That's all this is. But they're trying to claim that they will happily sit there and eat these things. Sure, show us then. Do it. I would love to see, right, KSI and Logan Paul sitting down for lunch one day or even just going into the fridge for a snack and whipping out a lunch. Lee. That's never happening. Come on, let's be real. Maybe a Prime. I see them drinking a Prime. Prime's fine. I have no problem with Prime. I think it's all right. You know, no quarrels. Would I drink it every day? No. But would I go out of my way to buy a Lunchly other than to maybe talk about it on a video, which if I do see one, I will grab one and I'll taste it. I'll tell you what it's like because uh, I just want to have first-hand proof of how shit it is because I know how shit it is. I can see how shit it is. Everybody else can see how shit it is. Logan Paul and KSI can also see how shit it is. Even Mr. Beast. But Mr. Beast doesn't care. He's a shill. He'll just fucking sell out anything. Like, if you have a product and you're proud of it, that's fine. Okay? But don't lie to people. Don't act like you're going out of your way to eat these things. These tiny little meal kits that are aimed for, like, 10-year-olds. Like, come on, bro. You're, like, in your 30s. You're not eating a 10-year-old's fucking lunch, are you? Like... Fucking hell. They're not small guys either. They're quite big. Like, 
you're going to maintain that with eating a lunch, Lee, are you? Don't think so. Anyways, Mr. Beast has been pretty quiet on this whole thing, which is fine. I think he made like a couple of tweets, like maybe one or two. I'm not 100% sure. It's like it's kind of been brushed under the carpet a little bit and overthrown by KSI going absolutely fucking mental on Twitter. Now, this guy, right, he's just nonstop right now. He's nonstop trying to target Dan TDM. Now, every single day, every single day, I see a new tweet by KSI at in Dan TDM. It's actually getting to the point where his fans, his friends, everybody around him is telling him just to fucking drop it because it's so pathetic. Uh, and he's still doing it. Here's a couple of the tweets here. I screenshotted a few. I probably haven't got all of them, okay? Because there's so many. This guy's psychotic. So I'm just going to list off the ones that I found. A lot has happened these past few days online. So here I am addressing everything below. And underneath it's a link to my apology. Twitter community notes then says the link takes you to a page where you can pre-order his new song and has no apology. The tweet is misleading. And then under this, you get all these fans saying like, bro, please get a PR team. No way Dan TDM for real pressed you this hard over a tweet, bro. Just let it go, fam. It's embarrassing at the minute. The next one, the community notes is a straight up lie. The apology is there. You have to click on the page a few times to get to it. Once again, people abusing community notes. Now, if you do go onto this thing, it basically does take you to an apology video eventually after trying to shill him, shill you his new shitty song, which is is terrible by the way. Don't ever listen to that garbage. From the screen to the ring to the pen to the sh This this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This, this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And it's way down heavy on me and it's not okay. Eventually it takes you to an apology video. He looks like he's gonna apologize, but really he's just taking the piss. There's some fake laughter in it, some fake acting in it. The, the guy's just not funny anymore. So I used to be a fan of KSI back then, back in the day, years ago, when he was actually funny. And now he's just this, this fucking businessman that has no pride in anything that he actually makes. It's all about the numbers. And this is something I heard somebody actually speak about the other day like when it comes to content creators. Like the bigger e upper echelons of content creators aren't normally the people that really care about what they're making. Okay, there's like this subsection of content creation where it's just like we're just looking at numbers here we're not looking at what we're making we don't care about the context or the content itself it's whose face can we slap on this stuff whose face is going to sell boxes whose face is going to get numbers get views get likes get comments this whole lunchly thing is basically that exact thing this is like the best example of that You've got Mr. Beast, the biggest guy on YouTube. Logan Paul, everybody knows him. Also, everybody hates him. And KSI, who's a mixed bag of the two. Okay, it's like, come on, man. That's going to sell. Prime sold. That was Logan Paul and KSI. So it'd be really stupid not to do something together, I guess, from a business standpoint, understandably. But if you're going to make a product, at least make a fucking good one. Like I said, I keep harping back to Prime, but Prime was an actual good example. Like, that's a good product. Not that I'll give KSI and Logan Paul much credit to that because they probably didn't come up with anything to do with it, maybe bar the name, you know? But still, it's their product, they're promoting it, and it's pretty good. When it comes to Lunchly, on the other hand, it's just shit. It's something nobody wanted. Nobody's asking for this. If anything, people are just going to get Lunchables, man. You know, like, who's getting a Lunchly other than maybe a 10-year-old fan of yours? That's delicioso right there. That's always approved. <laughs> like, and I'm not being funny. I know these are going to sell. I know they will. Okay, because it's KSI, Logan Paul, and Mr. Beast. It's going to sell. But would it sell for long? No. Do I think it's got much value in the market right now? No. Is it going to take over Lunchables? No. It just won't. And the reason for that, one of the main reasons, other than the product being shit, is because of how KSI and Logan Paul are reacting to it. But mainly KSI. Now, I know I went off track a little bit, so I'm going to go back to more KSI tweets, but I just needed to say that because it's fucking bugging me. This whole situation is just like one of them things where it's like, it shouldn't annoy me, but it really, really does. KSI okay, so has another tweet here where he's basically sucking face back his dick after he says, hate to say it, 
But the same people who were bitching about Mr. Beast, KSI, and Logan Paul launching the Lunchables competitor are celebrating Kai Sinat's McDonald's collab. And KSI puts, Banks has always been a real one. Now, not being funny, I don't think that's relevant to anything to do with this at all. You know, uh, McDonald's collab. You know, Kai Sinat doesn't own fucking McDonald's. He's not shilling out for McDonald's. They're collabing. KSI's not collabing with Lunchly. He owns Lunchly. Completely different thing. He is making that specifically for kids. McDonald's is already an established restaurant, okay? A fast food restaurant. Kai Sinat's just obviously getting paid by them, which is a big fucking thing, by the way. Like, don't downplay that. I just think that that's a very weak comparison, do you know what I mean? And the final tweet that I saw was one that says, Ayo, at DanTDM, why don't you come over to Sidecast? Let's talk this out like men. Like, not be a funny man, but talking it out like men is just going to go nowhere right now. Do you know how many times Dan TDMs actually responded to these tweets? Zero. Zero. And I respect that. Because if it was me and I saw this guy tweeting at me constantly, I'd probably just mock him. You know, I won't I don't have that much self-control when it comes to taking the piss out of somebody like this. If you're at in somebody and they're just constantly just blanking you, like and you just keep going at them, it's pathetic. It just makes you look so stupid. See this product you're trying to promote, Lunchly, right? This whole thing is now being overshadowed by your fucking psychotic behavior. Now you can say this, right? You can say that KSI is just doing this to promote his music as well, or he's just doing this to promote Lunchly. And I just think that that's a really weak excuse. I think this guy clearly is butthurt about this one tweet that he shouldn't have even cared about to begin with or even spoke about and he's just projecting that like this guy is crying he is salty and nobody can tell him otherwise because he's never wrong his ego has got to a point where he thinks that he is above everybody else and that is one of the reasons why i stopped watching ksi to begin with okay the guy used to be actually talented and funny now he's just a bell end. Like, if everybody around you is telling you to drop something, you should probably listen to them, okay? Because this isn't making you look good. I, I don't know, personally, why Logan Paul and Mr. Beast are working with him, especially Mr. Beast, okay? I don't know why they're doing that. Logan Paul will work with anybody. The guy just likes money. That's all he likes. He doesn't give a fuck about anybody other than himself. And that's very clear as well because his wife just gave birth to his daughter. And instead of actually like celebrating the birth of his daughter, he's posting pictures of his wife in the bed just after giving birth, by the way, whilst promoting Lunchly. Like, bro, are you that fucking dense? Like, imagine being that cunt's wife. Okay, imagine that. Just imagine that for a minute. You've just done something that's like extremely difficult. Okay, one of the most beautiful things in the world, right? You've brought life into the world. And your husband goes, all right, awesome. Let me promote my shitty product that nobody wants. Like right next to you, you know? Hold this bottle of Prime, babe. Like, come on, man. Like, there's a time and a place for this sort of shit. It's like, how can two people be so intolerable? It baffles me honestly like i said before these people aren't really content creators they're more businessmen now okay that's just what they're like it's a sad sight really because ksi's content used to be quite fire back in the day nowadays fuck me i'd rather watch the side men anyways guys that's pretty much it if you enjoyed the video remember to like comment subscribe new video again next week and yeah take it easy guys see you later